if you like this video and want to see more, then please subscribe to the channel. So today's video, I'm going to change the door cards on my car. As I've mentioned in previous videos, they uh, are a little bit broken. It's a, a common problem when people have taken door cards off. Some of the plastic gets broken and consequently the, uh, the door card flaps around a little bit. Uh, the previous owner obviously had the issue with this car and the way they remedied it was in each of the door cards they put a self-tapping screw uh, straight with leather, uh, which isn't something I really want. Um, also there was an additional problem with the driver's door. Um, the speaker grill had worn through. Um, I would guess that was uh, caused by someone's foot uh, as they got in and out of the car over here so just worn it through. So what I'll do, I'll show you how the door cards come off and back on again. So um, I've created myself an added problem. I couldn't get the exact match for the uh, door cards. Um, certainly on the left-hand side, as you'll see, the door card is uh, partly a different colour. The main card is exactly the same, but the the door pocket itself, the uh, armrest, and also the panel that goes above the armrest is uh, cream colour. So all of those need to be removed and swapped over. Um, on my on the driver's side, uh, it doesn't match, but it doesn't come with a door pocket and an armrest. So again, I need to swap those over. So it's a little bit more work than it could be if I managed than if I managed to get something that matched exactly. Um, but most of the parts that I tried to get are second-hand parts. So to an extent, you have to. Uh, use what you can get hold of and uh, I'm sure with just a little bit of extra work it won't be an issue and uh, yeah, that's the interest as you can see the panel hangs away from the top because the clips are broken so there's a number of issues with this door card uh, so I've ordered a replacement First of all, it was a screw that went through there that someone put in place because the clips are broken. Also, there's a lot of wear down here, I think from someone's foot getting in and out of the, uh, of the car. So first of all, I'm going to get this door card off. As you can see, I've already got the other door card off. Uh, there's some other issues with that one. and I'll get to those in a little bit. So I find it easiest um, to go in, I have to do this with two hands, but there's a little a little opening just there, I don't know if you can see it, but I put this little pick down inside and actually what I do, I just pierce the side of that very slightly in order to get some purchase. The reason I do that, you can't see the hole, but if you don't put a hole in it, you can't pull away and there's actually a danger as you're trying to pull it out that you'll come out and you'll put a big scratch around here. So in my opinion it's just better to do a little bit of concealed damage if you can call it that that actually will uh, prevent you from damaging anything else. So this is the little culprit here and although they didn't put a little hole in it you can see that there is one area that I put in a quite a big dimple. You can see where it's been scratched up underneath where people have just been picking away at it. That then reveals one screw. So next thing is to take the bottom of the door pocket out. That reveals a further screw. So what I find with this one here, if you put this up behind and then rotate it forwards, let's do that again. see that comes away. That re reveals one screw there. You undo that you can take this part out. So you should now be able to gently move that out the way. Uh, 
That really isn't easy with one hand. Just there, you've got a little tank you push in. You push that in and pull that out. I have to do that with two hands. As you can see, that's part. And that reveals your last screw. So let's take this one out and the other two. Okay, so we got one screw there, one screw there removed, and the one screw just there. So to move this out of the way, you pull it out, turn it as you go, and it comes out. As you can see now, that is only just hanging on. So I'm going to be careful with this. I wonder if I can set the camera up somewhere. So on mine, it's not been held on by much, but you just feel around, and you can find the mounting points and just pull away. I did forget it was to take the top oh, was to take the speaker grill away. There you go. Last bit to remove is a little puddle lamp connection simple as you this connector here you push it in sorry this bar here you just push in and that comes away so one thing to make sure of when you're going to close the door when you haven't got the door panel um, inner panel on is the connector to the puddle light especially it can dangle down and get caught in the door just here so tuck it away nicely. If you feel you need to, just tape it up as well. It just keeps it nice and safe.